is on how to determine when we are dealing with foreign, when dealing with foreign subsidiaries, there are two serious issues. One, can you determine the foreign exchange gain or loss on translation on net assets and also on goodwill? So I want you to go back to you know, the question we did, though it was required in that question, how did we just check how we got the net the foreign exchange gain loss on translation of the net assets. So how do you get foreign exchange gain on net assets? You took a good idea what you have said. Your nice. Yes, so we will translate opening net assets. You add net profit, then you compare with the closing. Uh, so you come here and say exchange. So, for an exchange difference, I want to start with the networks, net assets. So, in that question, in the other question, we were given the net assets straight. This one they have not given us, but we can get net assets. Net assets are the equity components. So, opening will be at the beginning of the year. So. Fortunately, the beginning is uh, the year is ending 30th April 2016. So you have to check on 1st May 2016, uh, 15. So there are two ways. There are two ways of getting those net assets at the beginning. Because the subsidiary was acquired exactly at the beginning of the year, you can check ordinary share capital, uh, share premium, then retain earnings all you pick on the date of acquisition. So ordinary share capital on the date, uh, you just pick the one in the trial, uh, in the balance sheet. So this was reflecting. This one is 200. 
200. Yes, 200. Then retain earnings, check on the date of acquisition. Return earnings on the date of acquisition. It was saying, Apple Jupe, I think paragraph one. It is paragraph one and up to two. Return profits were 800. No. Yes, return profits on the date of acquisition by 800. So these are the net assets on the date of acquisition. So when you are not provided net assets straight, you just uh, the equity components, equity components are the net assets. So 320 plus 200 plus 800, that is 1,000, 1320. So net assets on acquisition were 1,320. So you will come, you'll come here and say, translate, translate, open it. Net assets. Translate opening net assets. So of course we are going to translate them from Rwanda France. You will give us the array. Then we are bringing them to Kenya. What? Kenya shillings. So for now. Opening net access, we have seen it is 13 watts. Okay. 1320. The rate, can you check when the subsidiary was acquired? Check the date when the subsidiary was acquired. First May. So, what was the rate on first May, which is called historical? 2.5. So, Rwanda to Kenya shillings. So, take this divide by 2.5. You get them in Kenya shillings. So in Kenya shillings, five twenty-eight. So add net profit. You know net assets. This was beginning of the year. So when you add the profit, it should give you the closing. You know ordinary and share premium will just be constant. So So what will make it to increase is the profit. So it means when you pick the uh, profit for that year, you add to the 1320, you should get the closing. So if it fails, then that is the gain or loss. So add net profit for the year, net profit, net profits. So net profit for the year, for the year, how much are you saying? In the PRL of S, you see where is PRL? 150. Yeah? So this is 150. But PRL profit, which is income and expenses, we say we translate that word rate, average. So, so average, average is two. So 150 by two, that one should be 70 or 75. So add this. Okay. In a final way, you do this. Uh, this one, when you are adding this and this, skip one line, then you write the figure somewhere here. After skipping one line, you will see the sets. But this one, just write it there. The channel and line. This one, you put Chimiki So this plus this will be 14 what? 1470. And this one will be 603. So now, when you, so this is the closing, yeah? So this is closing, closing. So it means when you translate the closing at closing rates, you should get six zero what? Three. Because this is closing, this is also closing. So if you translate this at the closing rate, it should give you this. If it fails to give you the six or three, then the difference is the exchange what? Gain or loss. So uh, translate, translate, closing, that asset. Translate closing net assets. What was the closing rate? Closing rate is when you are required to prepare the balance sheet. So closing rate is 2.1. So 1470 by 2.1. Yeah. 
700. 700. So you can conclude now that we have reported a foreign exchange gain or loss gain, sure. So that is a foreign exchange gain. Foreign exchange gain. 97. Thank you. So that is 97. Goodwill. So, so we may get back to school over your flow in the Yeah, you check the opening net assets and profit, then it should give you the closing translated the same. Then you, the closing is now what you sorry, is what you translate now at the closing rates. Then you compare. All right, then let's go to goodwill. So, first of all, we have to calculate that goodwill itself. So goodwill. Check the other one, Kidogo, how we calculated it. Just check so that we apply the same approach. Oh, yeah, this looks okay. Nice. Uh, you have seen, and also we always know that goodwill is purchase consideration minus the network assets. So, uh, Radan, whatever rates, Kenya shillings. So, purchase consideration, purchase consideration. How much back? 12, eh? So 12. Don't bother. Don't bother fast. Then, read note number. Another year, another year. Note number. Which one? Note number seven. Read note seven. Read note number seven. It is the group's policy. To value the non controlling interest at acquisition at its proportionate share of the fair value of the subsidi subsidiaries identifiable net assets. So, fair value of NCI will be the, their, pro their proportionate with the percentage. Parent is controlling 75. So, minority, their proportionate share is 25% of the net assets. Eh? Net assets of acquisition to deal 13, the 1320. So minority noisemakers, uh, their fair value, fair value of noisemakers will be 25% times that 13, 20. People are recognized. Joyce, mute yourself. So twenty-five percent of that comes to three thirty. It means the fair value of minority was three thirty. So total of this will be. 15 but then you less net assets so net assets on acquisition on the journey you do 13 20. Yeah. so that 13 20 again is what you subtract you don't apportion when you are using full method so subtract that one huh? to 10 so this is 2 10 what a dog, who could you? The 97. Let's come back to 97. Of this 97, 
distribute to them the ninety seven. Of course, parent, parent is controlling seventy five. So seventy five, risk makers twenty five. So that ninety seven is seventy five percent will go with the parent. So parent will go with how much? Parent goes with seventy five percent of ninety seven. Seventy two point seven. Then this other ones. Twenty four points. Two five. Now, we're supposed to share to them. Uh, so, would we? We have gotten two hundred and what? Ten. So can you translate that to 10? Because now this is goodwill on acquisition. Goodwill on acquisition. That is goodwill on acquisition. So on acquisition, the rate was 2.5. Can you translate the 210 at 2.5? 84. So this is 84. There was impairment. So less impairment. Impairment loss. Impairment loss was mentioned in which notes? Impairment, which not? Don't number. I saw it somewhere. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Not one. Yeah. Goodwill is revealed annually as on thirtieth April twenty sixteen. Thirtieth April twenty sixteen is when closing. So no, the impairment on recognized goodwill was forty two. So at the end of the year. Goodwill 42. That one you translate at 2.1 because they reviewed at the end, not beauty. If they could have said beauty, then you divide using the average. So that is 42 divided by 2.1. That is how much? 20. So how much? How much? So 210 minus 42, 160. Eight one sixty eight, then eighty four twenty sixty what sixty four. So if you translate this one sixty eight, it should give you sixty four. If it doesn't give you sixty four, then the difference is the foreign exchange gain or loss. So uh, closing goodwill, closing goodwill. Is the 168. So that 168 can be translated at the closing rate. So the closing rate is 2. What? 1. So translate the 168. So 168, 2.1 comes to 80. So that is 80. So 80, I don't have space. That is a foreign exchange watch game. So opportunity. I think a foreign exchange game. Foreign exchange gain, the goodwill has gone up by how much? 16. It has gone up by 16. So that 16, parent, parent will take 75. Race makers will take 25. So 75% of 16. 12. So this one goes with 12, 4. 12, 4. Yes.
sour. All right. So from there, you can do the consolidation without problems. No problems ahead. So if you are done, just write H group, consolidated statement of profits, stop loss. All right, so let's kick off. So right there, page two. Well, okay, you foreign market then. <laughs> All right, so PRL, we are dying with what? Average throughout from top. Okay, see. Ah, top down. <laughs> this is top down. All right, so revenue, revenue. We add so two thousand plus fourteen twenty. So fourteen twenty at average. Average was which rate two. So this one you divide by two minus intergroup sales. Yes, there was intergroup sales in note number two. You remove the selling price. Eh? Selling price was how much? Sixty. Sure. Yes. So selling price is 60. You subtract the group sales. Chapayo. So be giving me answers. A sub. As soon as you get the answers, don't hesitate. 26. 26.50. Goes from sales, COS, you take 12 plus 960, divide by 2, minus what? 60 again. Then we add unrealized problems. So UPI in that same note 
UPI will be the profit margin. Here they say profit percentage on selling price. Percentage on selling price is the margin. So don't convert. You only convert if it was percentage, uh, profit percentage on cost price. If it's on cost, that is marker. But if they say on selling price, that is margin. So you don't convert. So that is 20% times the goods which were never sold. So they say a half. A half of those goods. So a half of 60. So how much is your unrealized profit? How much is the unrealized profit? Six. So UPI can be informed that it is six. So you come and add here six. Can you give me the entire value? Sixteen twenty. Therefore, gross profit in that is gross profit. Amount sales. Yes. Cost of sales. Sixteen twenty six. So gross profit will be how much? Ten twenty four. 1024, you proceed. Uh, distribution and admin. So distribution and admin, that is 300 plus 200, 200 of course over two. Then impairment. Impairment is classified in administrative. And impairment, we got there 20. If I can remember. Sure. Yes, impairment was 20. So classify it there. So, how much will that be? Hmm? That is for 20. Or 20. Gross profits, people are saying, oh, 1024. 1024. This one you said, 4? 420. 420, you subtract. Then uh, interest receivable. There is interest receivable and interest payable. So interest income, interest income will be, there was no a group loan. So, there is no inter group interest to be eliminated. That is 40 minus. Because 40 is interest income, they get it payable. So you can net, so no, you are net the two. So 40 minus 20, but 20 is over what? Over two. That is 10, that is 30. So that is an income you add. Then what you will get is profit before what? Before tax. So give me the profit before taxation. Six times four. Income tax. Income tax. Ah, you don't use that because you are given. <coughs> when we have already been given, you will not be rate. Eh? So income tax, 200 plus 90 divided by 2. That is 240 watts. Right. Therefore, PAT, profit after tax, 3. 389. Then uh, other comprehensive income. Other comprehensive income. Other comprehensive income. There was foreign. 
foreign exchange. Foreign exchange what? Gain on net assets. Net assets and also there was foreign exchange on what? Goodwill. I remember on the net assets it was ninety seven, and here it was how much? Sixteen. So that one will be one thirty. Therefore, total comprehensive, total comprehensive income. Total comprehensive income, you take 389 plus 113. Five four two. Then, then you share. You share. First of all, you share the profit for the year. This one. Then once you share for the year, you come and share the total comprehensive. So you come and say profit for the year. Profit for the year. Allocated to parent and race makers. So let me start with race makers. Race makers takes profit after tax in the subsidiary. In the subsidiary. So, what was the subsidiary? Is PAT profit for the year subsidiary, which you can see there, one hundred and what? Fifty. Uh, are you seeing it? Yeah. After tax. Yes, the shillings are in Rwanda. So, we will take twenty-five percent of the one fifty. Remember, one fifty should be over what? Over two minus UPI. I'm not subtracting because see what our user. See, SDL you see on the other one super chest. Eh? So you don't subtract UPI. Impairment you will because it was full method. So subtract impairment. Impairment was how much? Great. So indicate their impairment. That is impairment. That is the only item we subtract. So there is no need of wasting time doing a lot of working cells like there. So just one fifth that then take 25%. So what do you get? <clears throat> Eh? 13.75. 13.75. 13.75. So parent, parent will take 389 minus 13.875. So 389 minus 13.75. That is what will go to the parent, which is how much? 5.25. So that is 3.89. Then share now the total comprehensive. So you say total, total comprehensive. Total comprehensive income allocated to current NCI, current then NCI. So total from foreign exchange on the net assets, this 97, NCI got how much? 24.25 plus on goodwill of this 16, they got how much? Four. Then on profit, you know, total comprehensive includes the profit. On profit, they have got 
So that G point seven five. So that is the total comprehensive going to the minority. Forty two. So this is forty two. So to get what goes to the parent two in, you can add also for parent what they got from ninety seven, what they got from sixteen, and what and the three seventy five point two five four. You take the total comprehensive five four two minus forty two. So this mean I let the address you can confirm. So you take five four two minus forty two. Five four two minus forty two comes to four six four hundred and sixty. But you can confirm by adding the three. You take. In the 97, I don't know they got how much this one, they got 12, then plus this. You'll get the same answer. So, Fuga, Fuga, China, I don't have a space, close 542. Yeah. But now the balance. Let's go to the statement of financial position. Balance sheet, assets and liabilities, we are dying with which rates? Closing, which is 2.1. Yes, 2.1. So, assets. So, right there, non current assets, PPE. So, PPE, 29.70. Plus fourteen sixty two point one. There was no revolution. There was no that. So R thirty six sixty five thirty six Then investment in S you replace with goodwill. Of course, you take goodwill after impairment. It was eight. In a closing translator, 80. Who do it? Who is the other? 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 Closing goodwill translator. Yes. Yes, it was 8. Then loan to S. Loan. To S limited 50 minus what? 50. Loan to one of your own, you cannot bring in consolidation. Eh? So that one 
Sorry to come here. Can you add this to loan to one of your subsidiaries or to any group member that is called intergroup loan? All right, that one comes to seven. Seven forty five. Then we have we have current assets. We have just said current assets. Eh? So current assets thirty five fifty plus the twenty divided by minus six. When I look at six UPI. You know, UPI is part, it should be subtracted from invent. And now they have given us an aggregate figure of, of uh, all the current assets. So any adjustment should be made. They are even cash in transit, kind of qua. I talked them up, the intergroup debts. So whatever you could have adjusted on receivable, inventory, and cash, you just adjust them there because you were given a lump sum. You get? Total assets. So our total assets seventy-seven equity and liabilities Equity and liabilities we have holding and share capital. Holding and share capital, parent only. Yeah? So parent only is how much? 600. Share premium. Share premium five. Return earnings story for another day. NCI will also wait. Also, you will have to capture foreign. Foreign exchange what? Foreign exchange reserves. So about the original calculation, problem comes there. You know, if you compare, uh, you're supposed to bring the foreign exchange reserve for the parent. Eh? Those two on uh, net assets and on goodwill. Now the problem which comes on the the net assets 
you know, on acquisition, on acquisition, what makes it different with that other question? On acquisition, if you check note seven, examiner never gave us the fair value of, how are you cost of your fair value? Yes. We were not given the fair value of the HCI. Examiner just said, their fair value is the proportionate of, uh, share of uh, the net assets eh, in the subsidiary. So when we were calculating goodwill, we gave them already. We gave them, in their good, as part of their goodwill, we gave them uh, 25% of the 13 watts, 20. So we have already given the minority. So minority, minority's fair value was based, it was based on the net worth, net assets of the subsidiary. So in the balance sheet under equity, they cannot come here again and we give them as part of their capital because they had shared it as part of their what? Goodwill. So what will happen for an exchange, you will do this. You will take 97, there was 97 on the net assets. Yes, there was 97. Then you add 97, then you add on the goodwill. Goodwill is the one they are supposed to share because they had already shared their net assets on goodwill. So this one they should not share anymore because net assets we arrive by taking those assets at the beginning. So times on goodwill, on goodwill, sorry, parent will take 75, 75% of 16. Actually, 75% of 16 was 12, okay? Yes, so take the 12, parent will take 75. So 12 plus 97. That one is how much? One or nine. Then, okay. Let's just proceed. Let's just proceed. Concurrent liabilities. Concurrent liabilities will be three hundred plus four ten. 2.1 minus the intergroup loan. You remember the loan? The loan of 50. You have to subtract that intergroup loan. Mm -hmm. That one comes to how much? Four fifty five. Four? Four fifty five. Then current liabilities you also have you have what? Twenty fifty plus point one. That is not adjustment. So what do you get? Yes. It should be forty four five feet. Four forty five. Four four five. And current liabilities. Twenty three, thirty five. We assume it will be the same. Yeah. 
Isaiah. Isaiah is asking, why are we subtracting loan and we had already subtracted the job there? <laughs> you know, when, when in group members give loan to each other, when I give you a loan, on my side is an asset. On your side is what? A liability. So parent is the one who gave the loan. So in the books of the parent, it had been captured as part of what? Assets. If you give a loan, on your side is an asset. So, but now the issue is, it is intercompany what? Loan. So, munyalipeana atoe kwa assets. Munyalipewa atoe kwa liabilities. Is that have you understood? Good. Uh, so, we are remaining with the two. Let's do return earnings. So return earnings, we will say return earnings brought down for H and S, then you can consolidated, consolidated profit, the one which goes to the parent, which is how much the pick, whatever we have we can pick. Uh, from your profit account, check your PL where we save profits allocated to parent for the year, profit for the year allocated to the parent. We are seeing how much? Three? 375 points. Yes, profit for the year allocated to parent. Then you less dividends which the parent pay to reduce their profit. So dividends pay parent. There was a note where they talked of dividends. I remember it was 80, but let us check. Let us check which note. Note number. Five, not five. H paid a dividend of 80 during the year. This dividend had not been included in the company's income what? statement. Uh, so I want us to get the profits brought down. When you take the consolidated brought down plus during minus, you get the current down. So for parent brought down, you know they are not provided, but we can get. Check the retained earnings in the balance sheet. Balance sheet is the uh, yeah, the closing. So how much is the return earnings of the parent in the balance sheet closing? It's uh, sure. It is 36. How much is the parent's return earnings for the whole year? Profit for the year in their profit account, 340. But the only problem we have, they are saying this 340, they have not subtracted what? Dividends. So you subtract dividends to get the correct profit. So the correct profit should be 200 and what? 60. So you take 36 minus 260, you will get the broad down. So that is 36 minus 340 minus 80. Because the board mass work bracket first, then you subtract. Thirty three forty. This other one, I zero. I could not if I tell you why. It was zero. The reason being, 
brought down. When was S acquired? See, S was acquired here exactly at the beginning. When a subsidiary is acquired at the beginning, you only, the only place you consolidate for that profit is when determining what would we as pre acquisition retained earnings. Thereafter, any profit which we consolidate for should be post, post acquisition. So the broad down, yes, on the date of acquisition, their profit was how much? It was 800 in paragraph one, two there. It was 800. So this broad down, we had already taken 800 when calculating would we? So when you go for the post acquisition, it will be 75% of that 800. The rate of acquisition was that. Again, you subtract because the one we want should be the post what? Acquisition. So even without disturbing yourself a lot of stories, the rule is when a subsidiary has been acquired at exactly the beginning or during, then that profit is only utilized in good computation. You should not, because after, after acquisition, we'll be going for post. So you cannot bring it again in the books. We are considering it for good way. So if not, give me this and the asset value for the 10 diamonds. Thirty-six, thirty-six, thirty-five. So what you do for me uh, here? Bring here thirty-six, thirty-five. Give me NCI as the balance in figure. Then we can confirm. Three forty is the profit for the year, Brenda. Profit for the year in the books of the parent. Just check the profit account of the parent in the question. You will see their profit for the year. Kindly check. So please fix up and see. I. Thank you. 
When you fixed your MCI, what? Eh? On fifty. Up. Now online on button up. Online, what are you getting? Hmm? At the the L. What are you getting? You should be having a value more than one fifty. 151, 150, which is which? Sure. Study for the next day. What at one? Let's do a working so that I can be able to I can be able to see what is not happening. I want to see what is happening. Hmm? Let's see more. Which one are you calling your foreign? Your foreign next year. But let me see. Should I have you up here? Because that net asset we are sharing. We love to share to them. No, for an exchange. The issue is that the foreign. No, 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 no. Actually, we should not interfere with the foreign exchange. Yeah? What, where we are not going to share the foreign exchange, the net assets is on the NCI. They are the people we are going to deny the, the net assets because they are taken it there. So, foreign exchange, we should not actually. To go at 75% of this, to you put your parent in full, I think that is where the issue is. This 97, let the two of them fill up what you put a percentage. Yeah, parent, parent should take 97%, like then that one takes that. I will try to adjust for me this. It always breaks a lot of problems. Parent, I'll go with you, 
75 percent of 97 was giving us 0.75 plus d equal to 12. Now we get 84 point some. 84.75. All right. Try to fix. Nahini. He kitu mo nipe ang visual repel. He thirty six thirty five. So now let's go up. 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 Let's
So I want to explain, actually, uh, foreign exchange and this are supposed to be explained together. Now, how comes I don't know what I'm going to say? Six hundred by two point one plus twenty fifty twenty three thirty six. So that is okay. Now, uh, what is happening with this foreign? You know, this question slightly differs with that account because of that note seven. NCI, we were not given their net worth, net assets. So it means the net asset they should share once. So when you check the foreign exchange, the foreign exchange gain on the net assets it was 97. That 97, we shared to them, we calculated and we, we distributed to them. Yes. However, when we're computing goodwill, you know these people gave them net assets of the subsidiary. So when you give them the net assets as part of their assets up there, you cannot come again and bring it as part of equity. If you bring it again as part of their equity here, then it will cancel what you have given them as part of net assets. That is why I'm only concerning with the foreign exchange on what goodwill. They took it when calculating their goodwill. So you cannot again come and claim it as part of what equity. That is why I'm not giving them net assets. So in the foreign exchange, you only bring for parent. Even retained earnings is always for parent. So foreign exchange, 75% was for parent, 75% is for parent. So in short, we only consolidate for reserves. Reserves, we only consolidate for parent. This is parent, 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 and even this one, parent. So I did not take in full because we only consolidate, reserves, we only consolidate for the parent. Prudence, fair value and acquisition was 320 divided by 2.5, add, add post acquisition, add foreign, so there is two alternatives, 174, yes. Actually, that is an alternative, alternative of getting NCI. NCI can be calculated in two, in two ways. That is another way, so there is no big issue. So now, uh, now uh, I request, what is watch a foreign apple? So no, foreign you could have one tiani, bora well to your P and L average asset liabilities closing. So you just talk about me to Fraisha. I could have to pay that come Fraisha to the bit. So to go share with you tiani. So for now, uh, allow me to write where we will start in our next class. So again, I want to remind you the structure of the group. Structure of group. Group goes this way. There is normal. So normal done. There is foreign. Foreign, I can consider that done. There is disposal. Walikana subsidiary wakauza. Then there is piecemeal. Piecemeal is called step. Step. Step acquisition. Then cash flow. So we are remaining with this. So I want to introduce this one here. Yeah. So uh, also, see tomorrow we'll have a break. Yes. After that break, I've just realized, uh, I said that we'll be skipping. We can't skip. In fact, I'm going to adjust it up. Because uh, I projected, I cannot teach you up to the end. I need to leave you around the 24th. So, uh, all those remaining Sundays, we will do. We will be doing double double. We'll be doing double double, so that we cope with time. Otherwise, the one will be because this one will still take us some time. So relax only for tomorrow. Then the remaining ones we will we'll be having only three weeks to exam. Yes, it will be three weeks after a week. What three weeks to exam? So let's make up where we start from. IFRS 5. And you can IFRS 5. Non current assets. Non current assets. Held for sale. Held for sale. And discontinued. Discontinued. 
operations and discontinued operations. Sao. Thank you. Maybe you buy. Maybe you buy. Uh, so online, I have to end the class.